Well, AMD recently released some updated parts for their Dragon platform, the Phenom 2 processors. Now, they've done some quad cores and some tri cores that they've released, but the reality of it is the parts are actually the same. Tri cores are just quad cores that have had one core disabled. So, we're going to show you how to unlock the fourth potential core on your new tri core processor. So there's my tickle trunk. Uh, AMD was kind enough to send us some samples of the Phenom 2 lineup. So we got both a Phenom 2 720 Black Edition and a Phenom 2 710 non-black. The difference, as with all black processors, is that the 710 is not multiplier unlocked. So overclocking is a little bit trickier. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need a board that supports the all-core unlock. So we're using the M4A 790T Deluxe from ASUS, and we found a beta BIOS that works for it on streamsystems.org. So you're going to want to download the beta BIOS and we'll show you how to update it in a moment. So ASUS has a really great utility for flashing the BIOS on their motherboards. You just go to Tools, ASUS Easy Flash 2. All you do is put the BIOS file, which we downloaded from Extreme Systems, as I mentioned, onto a USB drive, plug it into a USB port, tab over to your drive selection, find the drive, press enter, confirm the BIOS file, and it'll flash on its own. It's very simple, but I don't have a flash drive on me, so the geek police are probably going to take me away at any moment. So once you're done flashing your BIOS, you're going to need to restart, and then to make sure that it took, just browse on down to system information, and then you can double check the BIOS version here. So we're using 0082, and you can see we have a Phenom 2 X3 710 processor and 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM, pretty sweet. So, the next thing you're going to want to do to unlock the fourth core on your processor is go to CPU configuration under advanced and mosey on down to advanced clock calibration. Then you go to all cores. That was pretty much it. Set the value for all cores to 0% because you don't want it doing any auto overclocking. And then save and exit. So, we'll be back, booted into Windows, showing you four cores. So here we are booted into Windows on our ASUS M4A 790T Deluxe. Actually, there are beta BIOSes available for almost all of the ASUS AM3 motherboards, so it's pretty cool. And you can see we've got CPU Z fired up here, so I'm going to get the cameraman to zoom in. We've got a Phenom 2 X3710, but we've also got four cores. Very cool stuff. So if the cameraman check that out, four cores. So you can also see in Windows Task Manager on the right-hand side here, you've got four threads available on the CPU. Now, some users are reporting that the tri-cores are unstable once they're unlocked, but with this particular sample that we have, the 710, we were able to run four threads of Prime95 FFT for over eight hours without any instability. Now, not every tri-core unlocks, and we're going to talk a little bit about why that is. Every Phenom 2 processor is manufactured as a quad core. Now, if one of the cores is defective, AMD, instead of throwing it out into the trash bin, can sell it as a tri-core. However, if the market calls for more tri-core processors, AMD will sometimes have to take perfectly good quad cores and put them into tri-core boxes and just, you know, cut off a core, so to speak. So, this mod won't necessarily work on every tri-core. Our Phenom 2 uh, 720 Black Edition wouldn't unlock but our 710 did. Whereas if you buy a 720 and a 710, maybe your 720 will and your 710 won't. Anyway, thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips. I hope you've enjoyed our tri-core unlocking.